Good morning, everyone. Well, I'm going to do a um, unboxing on a a newer. Well, not newer. It's been around a little while. It's a 240 millimeter AIO. It, it's made by a company, uh, Ray, 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 Rain Tech, Raisin Tech. I don't know. Uh, Raisin Tech. Uh, oops. Anyways. Um, it has a pump built onto the the uh, tubing, and it looks like it has an indicator on the block. So I'm going to look at it a little bit more, so that way I can get some better idea. But anyways, on a little bit of news. If anybody's in the market for graphic cards, bad news. It appears that the price is going up again. Things are absolutely, absolutely getting harder to get. Um. Myself, yeah, I can still get my distributor prices and stuff, but I was just looking at Newegg, and um, I was like, wow, especially Radeon cards, I can't even believe it. How, that, that they really held steady and actually gone up, but as far as anything else goes, I was looking at the shuffle prices, which is pretty much what Newegg gets for MSRP, and... To my surprise, as much as I, I, I don't agree with the whole scalper thing, I mean, I know they're opportunists and people hate them, but they're opportunists, they're out to make money, they're no different than anybody selling a car or whatever, but yes, they're taking advantage of a market. But right now, if you go on there and you're looking to get a video card, you can literally buy one cheaper from a scalper then you can get one from Newegg or Amazon. Just saying. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. And the reason being is because a lot of these scalpers on eBay bought or purchased tons of these cards probably months ago or even up to a few weeks ago before the prices started to go up again. And they had a bunch of them, put them up there for sale their prices pretty much stayed set, steady, but on the other end, on the MSRP end, are uh, the, forget about MSRP, that's really a thing of the past. On, on the retailer end, um, the price went up, and it's bypassed what eBay prices are going for. Take a look. I, I can't figure it out. Crazy. But... Yeah, that's that's it's all it's it's not gonna look like things are gonna clear up for at least they're saying clear up in like twenty the end of twenty twenty two, first quarter twenty twenty three, but I can only see when the forty series and the seven thousand series on AMD side comes out, I can only see this whole thing happening again unless they build a couple of huge manufacturing sites, maybe one even or two in this country, and a few more overseas. Um, if you're looking at getting PNY products on their video card end, they're very expensive because they're all made in China. And thanks, thank, you know, thank our administration for that 25% tariff which you can imagine how much that must add up over the tens of millions of dollars they spent on video cards. Uh, their memory and all that other stuff is pretty much you know, made in, in Taiwan. Now on the other end, Asus, Gigabyte, MSI, all the, that, that whole family of cards, they're all made in Taiwan. There's no tariff. There isn't any tariff from over there. I mean, there's taxes, of course, but it isn't anything like you get from China. So this administration that's in right now was supposed to do away with that Trump era thing, but it, it didn't seem to happen at this point. Um, so that's it for news on that end. Um, on my end, I, I've been working hard, getting everything straightened out. I've got a few more deliveries coming in this week. I can get my inventory inventoried, <laughs> and um, I, I can start getting my builds out, and uh, then I'm going to start doing some live streams and some, some, 
any builds that I do for people that are YouTube um, subscribers of mine. And I don't have a lot right now because I was thinking about analytics and this and that last night. And I was like, wow, I've only been on, what, eight months I've been doing this YouTube thing. And actually, I'm going, I'm getting close to 70 subscribers. And i got to thank you guys because you're really loyal subscribers. I'd rather have 70 loyal than 2,000 people that pop in once every six months. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm literally not a YouTuber. I, I do this because I like to build. I'm not camera shy, but I like to review products and stuff like that. And it's, it's not something, if I get monetized, whatever, I don't care. That's, that's not why I'm in it. Um, so, you know, that's a whole different story. I know people that have been doing this for two years, two and a half years, and they still are just barely getting 70, 75 people. So, and then again, uh, there's other people that just blow up. You gotta hit that right niche, you know? It's, it's crazy. But anyways, enough of that. Of course, I gotta edit a little bit of this stuff out. And we're gonna do an unboxing on this, and we'll talk about this, this um, case that I'm gonna be building. All right, so here we are. If anybody knows how to pronounce this better than me, please let me know. Um, Rain and Tech, Re Re Regime Tech. Uh, anyways, um, I, I I got a whole bunch of stuff in, and I'm doing a Cooler Master build. It's the Cooler Master NR200 White. It's a small mini ITX case. Um, the price is going to vary because I think I'm going to hold off. The only thing I'm not going to put in it and advertise with it is going to be the graphics card. Um, because the, if, if the person buying it is going to prefer a regular 3060, obviously it's going to be a lot less expensive than if they want to put a 3090 in it. So that's going to be left to the person. Other than that, the case is it's going to be the Cooler Master NR200. There's a P version. The P comes with the 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 um, SFX power supply, the mint, the small power supply already in it, and it also comes with a cooler. Um, if they're still doing that. Anyways, the one that I'm getting is just the 200. It's pretty much empty, and it's going to have a. Um, it's going to have a mini ITX board in it made by Gigabyte. It's going to be a B550. It's going to have between, again, I think I might leave this to the person, 16 gigs is plenty, but 32 will be an option. And the video card will be, again, an option. The board is a really, really nice board. The only thing that will need to be done to it is BIOS be flashed. Um, the CPU in it is going to be a AMD. Um, what did I get for it? I think I'm going to put probably, we'll go in the middle. It's going to be probably the 5800X. And unless the person really wants to get a 59 or a 56, I don't know. But I think I've got to kind of draw a line on where I can do it. I'm not going to do a complete custom build. Um, leaving room alone just for the graphics card, I think, is, is, is more than a lot of people actually do. So I was going to go with the NZXT. Look, they even put a little bow on it for me. I, I don't know what this was holding, actually. But uh, it only will take a 240 millimeter. And I'm still leaning probably putting this um, this one in. Because I don't know a lot about this one yet, and that's why we're going to uh, pop this bad boy open. So here we go. Pop her open. Pop her open. Pop her open, baby. Pop her open. All right. So we'll see what we get with this, actually. We get a cardboard box, and a nice cardboard box. Okay. This aside, 
then did we get a bottle of cooling fluid? Does this thing... No. That's weird. Okay. I'm not going to make judgment on that yet. It could be extra. Maybe it needs to be filled. It doesn't look like enough to fill it. Okay. We'll take this out. And we get a little... Um, Okay, it looks like it's got five um five plugs in there for four four pin fan or three. It doesn't matter either or, and it has RGB five little headers in the back of it. A little header, little headers. Oh, it's got a little magnet on it. I guess you can stick this either on it. I don't know. I guess this would go on the case and this would probably go on there. But besides the point. Um, okay, I guess it's ARGB. It's, it's got the 5 volt. All right. Okay. Whatever. Maybe it's converted. 12 goes into it. 5 comes out. All right. Next item. Now, this is really nice. This is different. I do like the way this is packaged. Okay. Wow. I, okay. I imagine this is what's going to go on the back of the motherboard. Okay. Yes, absolutely. This would go on the back of the motherboard. It has little punch outs. And this is what's going to go on. find that out in a second but yes oh yeah there's your little screw holes okay so that would be going on the the um the pump you have your screws wow they're not very long which is actually a good thing and your fan screws and the little ones that hold you right oh again oh wow oh they really they really went crazy with the thermal paste they probably just enough to Cover your, 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 your processor. Oops, okay. All right, so that's in there. Check out the fans. Wow, they're ring fans, ring lights. They feel. They feel really, really sturdy. Wow, okay. The quality feels, oh my goodness, the quality is unbelievable. Let's see what we got for, uh, what the, there is no play in that whatsoever. What do we have in here? It's a, it's a fluid hydraulic? All right. Well, they spared no expense with the fans. These are really nice fans. Fluid hydraulic. That's not cheap. Most of them are just ball barren. Okay, nice. Oh, come with a little uh, remote control. You can, you know, run around the house flicking the lights. All right. Now to the good stuff. And... Okay, this is definitely different. Does this thing have any fluid in it? Yeah. Okay, I can see the fluid in there. All right, I get it. Okay, so 12 volt power, which would get hooked to your water pump on the motherboard. And 5 volt coming from I guess that little uh, this little hub yeah okay it goes in there and then you can put your fans into it okay I see all right nice it has a indicator valve inside of there I imagine it spins different it has actually a drain plug or a fill port basically whatever you want to call it and it looks like it has something here 
it looks like a little drain plug there. That's different. All right, I can tell you right now, so far I do like it. I don't know how this would get in the way of things. I'm going to have to put it in there. Let me pull this down a little. I'm going to have to put it in there and um, see how this is going to, if it's going to get in the way of anything. If it doesn't, maybe I'll put this inside of there, inside of that mini case. Hmm. But one thing I really don't like already about it, as I can tell you, I know for a fact, just by looking at these screw holes, this is aluminum. And this is copper, nickel covered, nickel plated. So they put a really, really nut in it. Its quality is awesome. Not as good as my Alpha Cool. I can still see little swirls under there, but not bad at all not bad at all copper covered with nickel so you're going to have water you're going to have cooling fluid coming out of aluminum running over copper everybody knows that's a no-no but if you're going to plan on keeping the case for 12 years without changing anything it could be a problem um Aluminum and copper with the chemicals that are in, I guess this is extra in case you want to, you know, it starts to evaporate because believe it or not, it does find a way to evaporate. Um, I guess down the road, if you need this, it's there. That's definitely different. I can hear the fluid in the radiator. It's light compared to copper. I'm, I'm so used to working with copper. Okay, so I imagine how this goes. Does these line up? Yes, they do. So your screws go in there. I, I do like this open this open plate, the, the, this open bracket, the way it's made. It's, it's actually nice. Would it fit? In a mini uh, this is just I put this in this case so I could just um, get some measurements I've got to put my full ATX in there but would this be a problem absolutely oh I could not run that in there I could not run that in there it would go on a full AT it would go on a full ATX but it wouldn't go on that mini it would probably go on any one but that ASRock these ASRocks it, it, <laughs> beautiful board the heat sinks are a nightmare it, it's so it, the way they're made it limits you so much on what you can do um it, it's it's I, I ended up getting this i was going to use it and the water pump that i built that i was going to put in it for the the back side of this which i'll show you in a second um it wasn't happening so i ended up putting a gigabyte in it Oh, you, you, yeah, I did a video. Everybody's seen that already. So, yes, the cold, the, the cold plate is copper. Nickel plated. Aluminum radiator fan. Um, go over some quick specs real quick. And we are looking at a ceramic. The, 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 the pump itself is on a ceramic access. Um... 5,000 RPM, not shabby. This thing's going to move some fluid. Um, other than that, the, the, the decibel levels, uh, it says, um, I seen on the case, I seen, it, it was like 25 decibels, so uh, barely noticeable, especially if you, put, if you put your cover on your case, you'll never hear it on your case. I know I kind of like cut off half my words. Um, so yeah, that's going to about wrap it up. We're not going to install it. You will see maybe if I do install it, we're going to, when I do that build, it'll be watched. Vi uh, watched. Well, hopefully watched. It'll be videoed and hopefully you'll watch it. Um, if I don't like the way it looks, I'm going to end up putting the Kraken in. Now this, I can guarantee you, is quality. Everybody knows NCXT makes very good products, so... Um, I ended up getting 
I actually have two more of these coming in this week. I it, Okay, long story short. I know this is stretching things out, but stick around. Stick around. It's worth it. Um when when you get when you become when when, when you become a a retailer and I tell you what, I know a lot of retailers in the area between here and the next city over, and none of them have direct links to the distributors. So, like I said, I had to jump through hoops for months to be able to get where I am, to be able to get directly from the distributors. There's one catch with distributors. It's gotten better, but there's still one catch. When you buy from them, you have to buy bundles. Now, back when this first started out, when the whole graphic card nightmare thing started out, and they started with these bundle things, they pretty much dictated to you what you had to get. It was a one for one. So if you got one of any type of a graphic card, they made you buy a motherboard or something or a power supply that went with it. And that could get pricey. They started realizing that for retailers that were going directly through them, that it wasn't worth it. So they still now, when I purchase any any large orders, such as I have this week, some very large orders. Um, oh, I know I'm hitting the table, shaking this thing. I've got to mount this on the wall. At least what they what they've done now is they're still doing a one for one, but. I don't have to get what they dictate. I can go on there and they tell me, all right, look, they give me, they'll send me, okay, this is what's in stock. How many cards do you want of what type? I get to choose that. And then they give me another big list and it says, these are the products you have to line up with it. Now, the good thing about it is if I want to be a cheapskate, I can just get, say they've got, um... Cooler Master Mice, uh, Cooler Master Mouse, or a keyboard combo. I can get that. And this way I'm spending uh, $100 versus with the card. So, yeah, all day long. And then I can get rid of that with the build. Um, myself, I like to at least get a board with, you know, a couple of boards with, with a few things, whether it's Intel, AMD. I, I'll buy some extra chips, some extra memory, because a lot of times CPUs and memory don't come with it. And I'll add on, say, I will get some mouse, uh, mice, I will get some keyboards, and I will get some power supplies, and I'll get some cases. This way I can do my builds. So it, it's, not as, it's not as restraining as it was before. Just to give you a little heads up on how it works, you just don't go out and purchase 100 video cards, and, and you walk away with this great price. On the other end, no, you've got to buy something else. Everybody's got you by the short and curlies these days. No matter how you cut it, somebody's into it somehow. <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad they ain't dictating to me like they, they did way back in the day where you, if you bought 75 video cards, you got 75 of the same power supplies. That sucked. Because you know you're not getting rid of 75 power supplies. So the only thing you can do with all the extra ones after you do your builds or sell the, sell the cards of people that just want to do upgrades is you've got to end up putting them things on eBay and you're going to take a hit in the wallet on them because nobody's going to buy a $125 power supply off of you when 99% of the time they're going to go on Amazon and Newegg and see that exact same one before they even look on eBay. All right, I know this video is probably stretched out a few minutes longer, but hey, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm giving you a little, little insight. To be truthful with you, nobody has given me insight by watching any reviews like this. So, I, 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 I mean, I'm not disclosing anything I'm not supposed to because I do have to abide by non-disclosure acts. When something's getting released, which there's some things getting released very soon, Involving graphic cards and some processes. I just can't tell you how much, what it is, what color it is, and what company. Um, but keep your eyes open. So, as far as everything goes, pretty much that about wraps it up. It's, it's, 
very rarely, like I said, this, this information I'm giving you is something that I had to learn on my own when I started dealing with, with these big distributors. And um, I don't see no problem with sharing with you. I'm just kind of letting you know it's not all... Uh, you know, it's all, not all sunshine and roses over here all the time. I mean, yes, can I get a lot of cards? Do I have a lot of them? Fortunately, I do. I'm not bragging, not showing off. I don't want to do that. But I am saying there is a price that comes with everything. So anyways, people, again, I may only have 70 of you, but you're 70 loyal people and I appreciate it. I'd rather have 70 loyal than 2,000 pop in and pop out. So, everybody stay safe. As I always say, I try to remember, be careful out there. I had a friend of mine just pass away recently. He got sick. He didn't get vaccinated, unfortunately. Um, I don't know if that would have saved him. Maybe when your number comes up, it comes up regardless. But... It's still out there and it's still dangerous. And my friend was a, was a former police officer and he took good care of himself. But he was one of them guys that got it to the point where he couldn't shake it. So uh, God rest his soul. Um, so I wish the best for all of you. And again, practice safety and things will be looking good. Can't wait to get back and get these builds going. I'm going to have that case in this week, and we're going to get rolling on that. Hopefully this weekend I'll be able to shoot the video. I may be having a guy come over. He's going to be doing builds with me, somebody new. I'll have a little bit more interaction. I want to see what he's got, what he knows. And um, if it works out, um, it, it's appearing things are going to be getting pretty busy for me. And um, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm probably going to need the help. I, I would really like to continue doing this because I do like giving this information out. All right, again, I, I, I could talk all day. So we're going to cut it short there. Everybody, you take care. Peace out.